Well, hello folks, and welcome back to the Red Arrow Project. So, a little bit of an update for you today on where uh, things are. So, when we last looked at the car, we were running on the front four batteries here. I'm pleased to announce that uh, we now have, pop the boot, we now have the other six batteries uh, installed here in the rear of the vehicle. So we've got three in a tray here up the top and three down here in the spare wheel well, giving us a total of 10 of these uh, batteries in series for just over 16 kilowatt hours. Now, so this is complete uh, traction battery here. We've now got the back of the car to sit down a little bit as well, which is kind of neat because it was flung up in the air totally. Um, also installed just now on the controller um, is our temperature probe. So I put some tiger seal there to uh, secure it in place. And inside the vehicle, now we'll pop in. Still got to fix that Tesla door handle. <sighs> so just sitting here for initial testing uh, is our instrumentation. So we're using the JLD 404 meter for battery monitoring. Uh, it will also be used to control pre-charge and also be used to control our charger. So we're kind of getting a lot of bang for our buck. Uh, out of this little meter and just shoved in here temporarily is our little five dollar eBay um, temperature controller thingy so it's quite a simple device as a little temperature sensor it's just a resistance temperature device and a um, couple of buttons for setting your parameters and a little relay here so if I just turn on the key to ignition so you'll see at the minute, uh, the heat sink's at 19.6 degrees centigrade. And uh, we can just basically program this guy here to trip the relay on. And uh, when the relay uh, uh, trips on, uh, we basically turn the fan on. And you can set the hysteresis and pretty much everything that you need on there. So it's uh, for very little money, uh, it's quite a useful device. That's going to give me a readout of the heatsink temperature and control our cooling fan at the same time. So just on the JLD 404 here at the minute, see that our battery voltage is at about 134 volts um, right now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put the cover on the um, I'm going to put the cover on the junction box. And we'll jump in the car and do a little bit of a drive around and uh, we'll see how that temperature behaves. Um, our controller, I have to say, our controller uh, is behaving extremely well. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll do a little spin and we'll try and keep this video uh, fairly short um, for you, you guys. All right, so I just thought I'd show you here. I've just popped the cover on the uh, junction box. It's a five millimeter polycarbonate. Um, I've just drilled it here to let the big cap up through the, the top. And what we will be doing here is putting an air filter type of a device here uh, to allow air to come in for heats and cooling. Because at the minute, if the fan starts up, it will be able to pull air in through kind of the spared land holes and places like that. But it's going to create quite a bit of a vacuum and kind of suck that uh, cover down a bit. And of course, obviously, BMW Motorsport. So, this is our underbonnet setup at the minute. So let's, jo let, let's jump in the car and do a little bit of a drive. Alrighty, so at the minute we're still on manual pre-charge, um, but we will be using the JLD 404 uh, to, to control that for us very soon. So what we do is we turn the ignition to the on position here and uh, 
just check that we got voltage there and then we just kick the key to the start position briefly uh, which closes the main contactor so we just got a current here hope you guys will be able to see this so we got zero amps 19.6 uh, degrees and I'm gonna pop into reverse and uh, we'll see if we can go driving oh okay we're going driving It's a little bit of a dead zone at the beginning of the throttle pedal and uh, that's controlled by the number of diodes uh, that we populate on the logic board because they obviously drop uh, about you know 0.6 of a volt so until we forward bias however many of those diodes that we wish to put on there um, you know we're not really doing anything now straight away I'm seeing my heatsink temperature just in case you, you you guys can't see this we're up to 20.4 degrees there now and it's climbing up as we would expect um, so I'm just gonna drive around a bit I'm gonna do some just a little bit of power on here in the turn I go too much in case the camera flies away we're drawing 80 amps there now Brake vacuum is working very well. I had to put a non-return valve in there. And there's a bit of a pull for us there now. Now our heatsink still isn't roasting uh, by any means. Right, let me go up into third gear here. A lot of you guys think I don't pronounce my THs properly. Uh, I probably, probably don't. Apparently it sounds like I'm saying third gear, even though I'm saying third gear. There's 300 amps. I think I have that set to come on at 35 degrees. Quite nice acceleration, guys. You know, no problems at all there. this stage I'm going to be all day trying to get up to uh, 35 degrees so the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at charging and how we're going to fit a charger to the vehicle and keep that on as you know as reasonable a budget as we possibly can yeah this is extremely you know the drivability with the controller here is really really good Go up here a little bit and turn around. This car does have a slightly better turning circle than our, uh, than our super yacht. Steering's working well. Let's put a little bit of power on here now. Hang on, guys, we're going into the turret. I still can't even get this thing up to 35 degrees to turn on the fan. It's 31.6 now. I am, I am, you know, hoping to see the fan come on, so I want to see how quickly it takes the temperature down. There's another 200 amp pull. 32 and a half degrees. Either I've designed this damn controller to be too efficient. Probably, my neighbors are probably really, yeah, no, I mean, they're not wondering because they already know I do this on a regular basis. I'm just doing figure eights here. Power in the tar. Woo! All right, red arrow. Bit of kick. Power in the 
power in the turn. Woo! All right. Oh, we're nearly there. 34.9. There's the fan on. 35.2. Works. Yay. I can hear the fan on. 35 now. Oh, it's coming down. 30. Oh, it's coming down big time. It's literally counting down here. It's flying down. I mean, that is a full-size radiator fan from a kind of a kit car radiator fan. I think it's a 10-inch. Oh yeah, it's flying down now. That's even without the proper air vents on the top of the cover that you guys saw there. Power steering's working good. Yeah, fly around, Red Arrow. I'm just gonna have a quick look under the bonnet here. I'm just gonna pull in just while the fan's on and we'll see. Uh, let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's, okay, it's really sucked down the cover. Um, yeah, you can feel the air pulling in here at the back. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that took the temperature down big time. All right. Sweet. I think it works. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we're down to 29.3 there now. Uh, all right. Let's go back in the driveway. There is something uh, particularly cool about, you know, this car because it was really bound for the scrap heap and it sounded like a like a ten bags of nails um, when I drove it in here under diesel power. So there it is, guys. Our air-cooled analog controller uh, works, so that's pretty. You know, that's pretty cool. Um, get it? Pretty cool, you know. Oh, oh crazy, man! All right. So that's it for this episode, guys. Um, I will definitely cut out lots of the driving around, so you won't have had to watch the last twenty minutes of me trying to heat up the heatsink. Um, thanks a lot for tuning in to this particular series. Um, our next episode, we will most likely be covering charging because now that I've got the car driving, I kind of need to be able to charge it uh, so that you know we can go more than just what's in the batteries at the minute. Uh, that'll be probably quite a long episode because I'm going to cover charging and battery balancing in that fitting the charging port how we're going to do that on a very tight budget now um, but still make it compatible with uh, public charging points j1772 protocol all that type of thing so um, I think we'll do a wrap-up episode then uh, where I'll go over the budget and uh, see where things ended ended up for us um, and finally then to round this project out there'll be a live stream uh, where I'll go through all of the control systems and I'll just rattle on and you you, you guys can ask questions and all that type of thing and uh, that'll be it that'll be the, pro the project you know pretty much finished as far as the videos and you know the kind of build will be concerned there'll be lots of other things like I've got a get an interior for this thing i've got the seats but the interior is really crusty so we'll have to deal with that and get the car you know tested and 
you know, and then I'm going to start dri uh, dri dri driving it, and we'll see, you know, we'll see where things go after that. So, all right, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, do check out the links in the description uh, for my PayPal and Patreon, uh, should you wish to financially support this, or indeed any of the projects that I'm working on or may work on in the future. Please, uh, you know, give me suggestions there as well also there'll be a link in the description to my github uh, page where you can download uh, designs uh, circuits schematics all that kind of thing including the details of the 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 analog uh, dc motor controller that we're using in this build so all right guys that is about it and until next time um Happy thermal controlling.